everyone, uh, Jesse Vartanian here. If you haven't seen our past tutorials, I'm a motion graphics artist and owner of J Varta, which focuses on branding, design, animation, and production for brands all over the world. If you have seen our past tutorials, you may remember uh, covering Cinema 4D for the compositor and Cineware 2.0 for R16. Well, to kick off 2016, I want to show you some great new features from Cineware 3.0. Uh, using examples from the brand new Cineware 3 launch video that I actually just finished making. So when we were brainstorming this new promo, we were thinking about the best way to showcase Cineware 3, and we ended up choosing something that many people in fast-paced environments could relate to. Oftentimes, last-minute client changes can happen, and so this promo and tutorials reflect more real-world scenarios rather than super heavy VFX work. Some of the new key features in Cineware 3 that I really liked using while making this a new spot are things like the new OpenGL support in the After Effects viewport rather than using the software shading. Also, complete support for Cinema 4D's new take system, where you can actually choose which take you want directly in After Effects. The live link between Cinema 4D and After Effects, which is amazing. And then other cool features too, like you can import and export timeline markers from After Effects into Cinema 4D and vice versa. There's import progress bars now, and also um, alpha channels have been fixed uh, for all multi-passes. All right, that was definitely a lot of features. Uh, so let's just jump right in. <laughs> 